Hey everyone, Kevin here from Focus Astronomy, and it is finally summer, which means none other than star party season. So now that the weather is warming up, um, a lot of people are heading out to camp, schools are out, and um, like I said, heading out to camp, and a lot of events are starting to shape up this time of year because the Milky Way is actually rising in the east, and it's a great time to go out and view the night sky whether you're an astronomer, photographer, or whatever, there's a lot of people heading out all over the place to watch nature at its best. But before going out to a dark sky, especially for your first time, there are a couple things that you need to know. And this will make your experience better, but will also make other people's experience of the night sky better if you're heading out. So one of the first things we need to know is what equipment are we going to need? So when you're going out to a nice dark sky, um, it takes time for your eyes to adapt. Uh, our eyes are obviously not sensitive enough to really see in the dark, so we use tools like flashlights or other things like that so we can see. And you don't want to take your normal standard flashlight out to these events. Uh, you can while you're setting up or maybe tearing down, but for the most part you're going to want a red flashlight. Now our eyes take 30 minutes to dark adapt uh, when we're out in a very dark place. And I've noticed whether you're in the house late at night and you turn on a white light that suddenly you feel like you're blinded in the dark and can't see anything. And that's because the pupils in your eyes have not adapted to night vision yet. They've not fully opened uh, completely. So that's the same concept when we're out in a nice dark location is if you hit a white light your eyes will reset your pupils will shrink down and reduce the amount of light that's coming into your eye this makes it harder for you to see in the dark and harder for you to see the stars and little dim objects that we're trying to see so in order for that not to happen we need to use red flashlights or lights that have a red covering using red light is less uh, annoying for us out in a dark location and does not cause our eyes to fully reset. So highly recommend getting yourself a red flashlight. Um, I use the ones from Hotec. They're extremely well made, uh, water resistant, and some of them even have some other features on them. Um, if you're on a tighter budget, Celestron makes a great little flashlight. flashlight. Or I'm sure you can find a keychain or something at a camping store to use as a red flashlight. You can also use red nail polish if you really, really want to, or red cellophane to help dim down the flashlight. Now, some other things that might not come to mind when you're out at a dark sky are your cell phone. Now, cell phones can be a great tool to have. Cell phones, iPads, any kind of electronic with a screen in it can be a great subject to have almost any time and even out in a location that's great but one of the major things is cell phones also emit light and when you're trying again to enjoy the night sky they can be they can be annoying and they will also cause your eyes to reset uh, even the iPhones with the new red shifted screens uh, for night that's better but it's not ideal so if you are out at a location uh, maybe keep your phone in your pocket. If you're curious about using the apps on the phone, uh, the different planetarium apps or the pointing maps for the sky and such, uh, maybe step off to the side uh, and play with that and use that. Um, I just recommend using a standard map or planisphere to learn your way around the sky. I understand having the phone is awesome and is great but it's not always the best um, if your phone does have a red screen mode some of these apps have a night vision mode which means it'll turn the screen red uh, I highly recommend engaging that and then making your screen as dim as possible but uh, it is recommended you are gonna be out to put the iPad away put the phone away and just enjoy being out in the dark enjoy being out in nature and put the electronics away if you must have it try to put the red on there because it will make it easier for your eyes to adapt to the dark as well 
and you don't want to have to sit there and constantly reset your eyes because it takes 30 minutes, it takes forever uh, for you to get back there and enjoy it. It's just kind of a hassle and it loses the reason why you're there at the event to begin with. Um, some other things that you might want to consider before going out to a dark sky is know exactly where you're going and make sure you know your equipment before going. Do not go out to a location and not have an understanding of your equipment. It just makes it difficult for yourself and you're not going to enjoy being out there and do what you want to do. You're going to be spending more time fiddling around with your equipment. Um, some other things, especially if you're doing public star parties like myself, um, I like to mark any trip points on my telescopes with either glow tape or red lights or something, you know, particularly around the tripod legs and, you know, counterweights or any particular area that someone might trip or fall or hurt themselves. Um, I like to clearly mark those as well. And these are just little things that you can do to make your experience and if you have attendees with you, their experience better. Because after all, we're all here to encourage looking up at the night sky and going back out and sharing that with others. So we want to make sure that experience is as awesome as possible. So those are just a couple little things I'd like to mention. Uh, I hope you have a great night out and we're gonna go load up right now and enjoy the sky so take care and if you like the video subscribe down below and we'll see you next time